Americans do. Would you like an affordable After over 50 years of being on the air, Channel 12 Bellingham went dark. KVOS began transmissions in 1953 with the televised coronation of Elizabeth II. The first television channel available to southern British Columbia, Channel 12 has had a long history, but on February 17th, the transmitters on Mount Constitution shut down to comply with new FCC regulations. For those of you in the know, the morning of February 18th came with some confusion. Why are over-the-air analog TV broadcasts still available in many American cities? The reason? The converter box coupon program, which has been heavily advertised on American media, is out of money, six million Americans are reportedly unprepared for the DTV transition, and a delay of the conversion until June 12th has been signed into law. That's right, we as viewers get to enjoy another four months of ads, ticker tape, and public service announcements promoting the switch to digital TV. Possibly the biggest issue surrounding the new date is that the FCC has left the cessation of analog broadcasts almost completely up to the discretion of the broadcasters, meaning that some stations have already shut down, some stations will be shutting down in June, yet still others will be shutting down at some point in between the two dates, essentially resulting in total chaos. The current DTV transition was initiated in 2005 with the introduction of the Digital Transition and Public Safety Act. Currently all devices that are capable of receiving a television signal that are imported to the United States are required by law to have a digital tuner. Such devices include television sets, DVD recorders, and PC tuner cards. The purpose of the transition was to open up the soon-to-be-vacant TV frequencies to public safety and new commercial wireless services. Everything was set to go ahead as planned on the 17th until U.S. President Barack Obama officially delayed the transition until June with the signing of the DTV Delay Act on February 11th. The delay of the digital transition was a purely political move on behalf of Barack Obama. After all, it is perfectly understandable that the new president doesn't want to be known as the man who cut off television service to some six million Americans. However, is the massacre of an otherwise organized transition any better than an all-right cutoff? That, folks, is up for the viewers, television antenna installers, and broadcasters to decide. For INET, this is Christopher, reporting.